Good evening, and welcome to the first video in a new series I'm doing called Earth 0808, how I would make the Marvel Cinematic Universe if I were my own in charge of it. This universe will be split into three phases so far. There will be more, but three phases leading up to which constitutes one saga. Without further ado, Let's begin phase one, which is called Face Front, True Believers. We begin the Marvel Universe in only the right way. We begin with an iconic family. Marvel's first family, Fantastic Four. In the movie, Fantastic Four, First Family. There have been two different Fantastic Four movies coming out. And with one in the works, which I'm really excited about, fans with uh, in, that's in the MCU. Now, in order to get the Fantastic Four right, let's talk about them. Reed Richards is a brilliant scientist, a professor at Empire State University. Reed Richards, even though he shows it in his own way, tries to protect his family from his imaginary friend. Which he's not, his ima and before you ask, his imaginary friend will not be revealed in this saga. Thank you. Reed Richards goes on this quest in outer space and gets hit by cosmic rays. He takes his longtime friend and college roommate, Benjamin Grimm, who turns into, the, who turns into a rock-like human who is insecure about himself and and think and can't and is afraid of what others will think of him because of his appearance. Sue Storm is the glue that holds the team together. She is also Reed Richards' wife. We're going to start with her art with them already being married. We're not going to show the I'm going to go more into that later, but we're not going to show the origin story or anything like that. We're just going to go into show the show them already married. Anyway, Sue is concerned for Reed because knowing Reed, Reed gets himself into these dangerous projects that that once made his lab partner in the past get into an accident. More on that later too. Sue Storm is Reed Richards' wife get into the last member of the Fantastic Four, and my second favorite, my first f favorite is Reed, by the way. I always loved this character growing up, Johnny Storm, who is, of course, Susan Richards' young teenage brother, who is young at heart, and is a hothead. He, uh, he never thinks. He goes into battles without Leroy Jenkins style. Johnny goes on the mission because he wants to protect Susan. And he really looks up to Reed Richards as a, as a person. The thing that the live action movies haven't gotten right, and I hope the MCU gets right, is the fact that they're a family. And I want to, and I want to expand on that more with my, with my F Fantastic Four movie. The best person, the best scene person to ever, or best incarnation of the Fantastic Four to ever be seen on screen was the cartoon in 1994, set in the Marvel animated universe that I grew up with, along with many others. It was in the same universe as like Spider Man the animated series, X Men the animated series, X Men 97, those cartoons. And I'm using that as my number one inspiration for this movie. Let's begin with Act One. Start with the opening credits, with art recreating their history in my Marvel Universe. This is to have people guess who the villain is for this movie. And no, it is not Doctor Doom. We start with their origin. Getting hit by cosmic waves. 
getting their powers. We see we then see him going against the puppet master, who is the father of Ben Grimm's girlfriend, Alicia Masters. We also see them fighting Doctor Doom. Once again, Doctor Doom is not the villain. He has been done over too many times. And the last time they did it, wait, we don't really talk about that. We don't talk about that movie. That wasn't the Fantastic Four. And finally, we see Reed and Sue get married. They are already married in this. We don't have to go through that again. And that's when we reveal that Sue, but not the rest of the team, Johnny's probably fighting somebody. Johnny and Ben are probably fighting somebody. But we want to focus on Sue right now. Sue wrote a book called Call for Four, which is a reference to the 90s cartoon, the theme song. That song goes hard. We see Reed working at the Baxter building on the Fantastic Car. We're going to know it's the Fantastic Car, but we're not going to know what it is until much later on. But Sue comes in and tells Reed to come to come downstairs. You need to get your behind downstairs and stop tinkering your lab. We got company. We we're at, we're, hold, we're hosting the yes, you see after the interview the Fantastic Four hosts a charity event. But Reed pro but of course, like Reed Richards, he's processing about protecting his family from his imaginary friend. Once again, the imaginary friend will not be talked about until way later. Not actually not in this phase. Not in this phase, not in the second phase, not in the third phase. Just know that Reed has an imaginary friend that the rest of the four are going to re refer to him as. Now we are about to introduce our villain of the movie. So, we're in a cave. And a professor, matter of fact, Reed and Ben's professor at MIT, is taking his class to the middle of nowhere. Literally, the middle of nowhere. It's a cave. And Reed and Ben's professor's name is... My favorite villain, my favorite Fantastic Four villain, Dr. Harvey Elder. Which, but you might know him as Mole Man. Now, my take on Mole Man is, he believes in, that, in there being connection to the world... And that he is the centerpiece. So he's using that to take over the world. And he's using his students, which are the Moloids. He's teaching these creatures about Earth. And how he's going to be the center of it. Now on to Act 2. next scene takes place in the Baxter building and this is where we begin act two the Fantastic Four are having a charity event and the guests and the Fantastic Four are when we get scenes of people mingling with some of the guests including a couple cameos because I have to admit I think some cameos are fun depending on how they're used None of that, and if they're used for a good reason, and, and no, nostalgia does not constitute a reason for you to always, I'm looking at you, The Flash, but hey, this is not the time to talk about how much, how bad The Flash movie is. This is a time to talk about the Fantastic Four, and maybe if I want to do DC Universe, I will, but right now, let me tell you who shows up. Tony Stark, because he's like one of the smartest, other smartest characters in the Marvel Universe. 
Alicia Masters. Because Thing is dating Alicia Masters at this time. This is not a cameo per se, but this is how Johnny meets his new girlfriend, Melinda Forbes. The girl on the right. Obviously, the left is their landlord, Miss Forbes, Lavina Forbes, who in the 90s cartoon was actually played by Stan Lee's wife, which is why I'm including her. I love Stan Lee. He's one of my idols. Unfortunately, because I don't want to get copyright striked, I can't really play the song, but in the 90s cartoon, the season one, episode 11, where, which a lot of this happens, Johnny Storm raps, and it is one of my favorite songs ever, favorite moments in the show, which made this my favorite episode. And for those of you who remember watching the Fantastic Four cartoon, do you remember Johnny Storm rapping? Because that song actually goes hard. He's actually rapping for his girlfriend, Melinda, in this episode, which is where I got this from. After this episode, after the rap is over, moment, there's a moloid outside, which causes the Baxter building to sink down into the ground. So when the Baxter building sinks, we have we have the team separate. We have Reed evacuating the building and Johnny. And then we have Sue and Ben fighting the Moloid. And then at some point they will all come together and recreate the Fantastic Four issue one cover and fight the Moloid, which is what it's called. They soon will, fo soon on the Fantastic Car, they will follow the Moloid. And this is when we find out what Reed Richards was working on. And this is Act 3. This is when Act 3 starts. That's right, it's Herbie. I'm really excited that Herbie's getting introduced to the MCU. And I actually wrote I actually wrote this long before anything we knew anything about the Fantastic Four movie in the MCU. So anyway, Herbie talks to the Fantastic Four from the Fantastic Car as he only operates through the Fantastic Car to save Reed and Sue and Johnny and Ben from the again, the imaginary friend. Herbie introduces himself as What was the acronym? What was the acronym again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pulling up the acronym. Yeah, I'm actually. I actually did write a script for this. Uh, we'll just call him Herbie, the highly engineered robot built for interdimensional exploration, or Herbie for short. So in this, I find Herbie to be a comedic relief, like a Bill Hader type character. Maybe he's going to do impressions. Maybe he's going to be like that comedic relief. Just like in Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes. And Johnny will like really vibe with Herbie because, of course, Johnny Storm. And then at some point, they go into the, they go into the tunnel where, or classroom, where Mole Man is. I'm not really the best at choreographing fights but i know that you'll just know that the fantastic four fight more moloids they explore the subterranea that's mole man's classroom and they fight mole man they mole man does this whole speech about connecting worlds and all like that but at the end but the fight ends with Mole Man deciding to exile himself. But Reed suggests, but instead, he gets reformed. Reed instead suggests him that he works with him because science is more than just tunnel vision. Mole Man was thinking tunnel vision instead of more than, instead of how that science, instead of diverse, like the way Reed thinks. 
Reed and Mole Man are opposite of how they think so. I think they would they would see eye to eye on that. And now they're fighting. And after that, which is a recreation of the 90s animated cartoon Fantastic Four, season one, episode 11. At the end, again, Mole Man is reformed. And we get a teaser. They're working on a secret door to protect us to evacuate at the end of the world. Again, I'm not going to say what that is because that is not going to be handled until the third movie. I'm not really going to do credits because I didn't make any castings for this. It's up to your imagination who plays these characters in this for right now. If you want me to do casting, I will, but right now there, I didn't have anybody in mind. Anyway, here's a post credit scene. This post credit scene is obvious, but we do see someone building some robots. His back is towards the camera. We know the we know the can it's made out of vibranium. We see bots assembling. You might think it's Reed's lab, but no. It's somewhere in Europe. It's Latveria, where the scene takes place. We then see that that this is a mask for Victor Von Doom. Doctor Doom will be the villain of the sequel. I hope you enjoyed the first project in Earth 0808, Zen's Marvel Universe. The next fate, the next story in Zen's Marvel Universe will be The Marvelous Spider-Man Season 1. I really had fun working on that and this. And make sure you subscribe and like and comment. If you have any questions about it, the comments down below. Like it and subscribe because there will be more coming. Enough said. Excelsior!